Hello, this is the last chapter for EET 221, chapter 15, The Thyristor Family. Now I'm going to read you something out of the book about this family. The word thyristor comes from the Greek and means door, as in opening a door and then letting something pass through it. A thyristor is a semiconductor device that uses internal feedback to produce switching action. The most important thyristors are the silicon controlled rectifier or SCR and the triac. Like power fets, the SCR and the triac can switch large currents on and off. Because of this they can be used for overvoltage protection, motor controls, heaters, lighting systems, and other heavy current loads. Insulated gate bipolar transistors or IGBTs are not included in the thyristor family but are covered in this chapter as an important power switching device. First thing we need to see is that this is a four layer device. We have a, a P, a P, a N, a P, and an N layer for this. If you break this up it looks like um, PNP, that looks like a transistor, and an NPN, that looks like a transistor also. It breaks down to a circuit that looks like this one here, where we have Q1 and Q2 are part of this circuit. Uh, normally, this is off. It can be switched on. but it can't be switched off again. So anyhow, let's look at this. This device, if I have no current flow here, then I will have no current flow, no base current here, and no current flow here, so this thing stays off. Um, if current here were to increase, then I would have possibility more current here and it comes through this direction here in which base current causes or allows uh, collector current here so I have more current there so I have more current here more current here more current here more current here until this thing becomes on it just switches on and once you get a condition like that um, you can't turn it off unless you have no current going through it or down to a very small amount of current. Uh, the symbol for this is this. Okay, It's called a Shockley diode. It's also called a four layer diode, a PNP diode, or a silicon unilateral switch, or an SUS. Um, what could cause a condition that causes this current to rapidly increase up to a maximum amount of current through it? Well, let's look at a chart here. This is current and this is voltage from this point here to this point here. So this, as we increase this line the voltage across this device uh, increases. Okay, voltage from here to here increases as we increase voltage here. So, as we increase voltage, you'll notice that there is very, very little current flow through this, and this current flow is mostly just minority carriers. It doesn't, uh, doesn't. Um, have much current until we finally get to a spot where it breaks over and it begins to conduct. So as it begins to conduct it gets, you notice the current starts to rise here, current starts to rise through the device and we get to this point to where current is almost vertical. So the more current possible in the circuit the more you have. Now this isn't a vertical line, it's pretty close to it, but it's not a vertical line here. Uh, we still have some voltage 
uh, right here, that's voltage across this device here. That's voltage from here to here. And you'll notice the more current we have, the more voltage we have across it. But that is not normally how it's used. Um, normally, this device is doped so that it breaks over at a certain voltage and begins to conduct. Now, the thing that shuts off this conduction is to eliminate the current through this device. And once you eliminate the current, it stops conducting. We need to talk about something called holding current. Holding current is the minimum current required to keep this thing conducting. If you reduce and reduce and reduce the amount of current through this until you can reduce it until you get down to the holding current and once you get lower than the holding current this thing stops conducting. Okay, something you need to see is this is voltage, this is current. Um, we are in this area right here. As more and more current through it, the more voltage across the device from here to here. So this voltage is that there, and the current is this here. So the more current you have through it, the more voltage is going to be dropped across the device itself. This is called the voltage of the knee. This is where uh, it breaks over, and the minimum amount of current I holding is here, and if you get below I holding, it stops conducting. Uh, voltage of the knee is, depending on how many, much current, uh, the voltage of the knee doesn't change an awful lot. Um, according to the data sheet, at uh, 1 volt, uh, excuse me, at 0.1 milliamp, we have just a little less than 1 volt. At Let's see, 0.5 milliamps, we have about uh, 1.2, 1.3 volts. At 2 milliamps through this device, it, the drop is almost 2 volts. So that can give you an idea as to what this chart looks like. But you need to see a data sheet. On the SCR. <laughs>